Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today Julie Wu, Priya Licht, and Tammy Johnson, who are members of the new Belmont Pan-Asian Coalition. We're going to talk about what they hope to accomplish in the community of Belmont. Julie, let's start with you. Why did people create the Pan-Asian Coalition? Well, we thought that since uh, the Asians make up the largest majority and minority in uh, in Belmont, that uh, that we should be um, represented more in the town. We should have a larger voice. So um, <clears throat> actually, Asians make up almost 20% of Belmont. Um, about It's uh, in the 19... Uh, the 2019 sentence, census, it was 17.2%. Uh, um, and it's steadily increased since 2000 when it was about 5%. Um, and yet uh, Asians make up very little of our town government and of our town uh, municipal employees. Um, and so we were just thinking it would be great to have more representation. And if we all gather together, we can... Um, learn more about how to band together and how to amplify all of our voices together. Priya, uh, Julie just talked about uh, uh, getting together and banding together. Do you have specific activities that uh, you're hoping to pursue here in the coming weeks and months? Sure. Um, I think that given that we are a fairly new group and we are just starting to meet, uh, you know, to kind of discuss uh, what our purview will be. Uh, we don't necessarily have very specific events lined up immediately, but I would say that at a high level, um, having polled people who have expressed interest in being a part of the group, one of the major requests was, you know, just to get to know each other, uh, because as Julie mentioned, you know, A, we are the largest minority in Belmont, but even within the Asians, um, you know, there is a lot of diversity, you know, so they, there may be, you know, a larger group of, you know, Chinese or a larger group of Indians um, that meet amongst themselves. Um, there are many other um, ethnic identities, national identities, um, immigrant groups um, who comprise, you know, thus the name Pan-Asian. So in addition to um, understanding just our role in Belmont and how much of a voice we can have, you know, in the public arena, uh, we also wanted to get to know where each of us came from, um, what our unique perspectives are in the conversations going on, not just in Belmont, but also nationwide. Um, and also just get to know each other personally as well. Tammy, uh, Julie was talking about uh, the Pan-Asian uh, population not being represented or well represented in the political arena. Are there other aspects of the community where you hope to uh, raise uh, awareness, whether it's the faith community or the school community? Uh, the business community? Uh, I think as a whole, like um, both Julie and Priya have touched upon that there's such a, a large population of Asians here and that spans so many different ethnicities and, you know, different cultural backgrounds. And I think overall the group is just looking to, you know, kind of spread our wings a little and, and show the town that, you know, th there's a very diverse community of Asian folks here. And we, we kind of just want, you know, want to be part of the community and also be noted for our backgrounds and, and be able to bring that to Belmont to enrich the town as a whole. I, I don't know that there's a, a specific faith or school based agenda or anything like that. I think it's just more the idea of uh, a better integration as far as cultural and ethnic awareness as a whole. Yeah, I Can wanted we to... I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I just go, wanted to go ahead, jump Julie. in and just say that that one of the things that we've already started to do is uh, is to put in a petition to the the select board 
um, because they just have formed this diversity task force and we feel that Asians are still underrepresented on the diversity task force, um, which, uh, which should really be more skewed towards, uh, towards minorities and actually um, Asians are still, there's, well, there's two people, two, two Asians on the, uh, out of nine people on the diversity task force. And we really feel that um, it's not representative of us. So we're, uh, we're putting forth a petition so that we can be represented as a group on the, uh, on their uh, task force. So that's, that's one of our first actions that's sort of drawn everybody together. And we've gotten actually, um, about, uh, well, at least 176 signatures on the petition so far. Um, and we're hoping that they'll consider it at the next select board meeting. I mean, I'd like to, to come back to you. Um, it, you made a comment that, that I want to follow up on. Is, is there, and any of the three of you should feel comfortable to respond to this. Is there a danger in people thinking of Asians as a uh, uh, as a monolithic uh, group population, uh, or is there a need is there a need to emphasize that even within the Asian community there is considerable diversity? Absolutely, I think um, what you said is spot on. I think it's dangerous to group any racial or ethnic background as a monolith. I mean. Um, you know, here in Belmont, we're blessed with having a pretty diverse range of folks. But, you know, for example, you'd never say, oh, the European population is all the same. I mean, we, we differentiate quite greatly between Italians and Portuguese and Greeks and Armenians. Those are not the same. They're, you know, racially, they might identify the same, but they're very different. And the cultures are vastly varied and and it's important to take note of that and to celebrate those differences and embrace them so i think that exists the same way for the asian community as a whole yeah, priya let's come back to you uh, when i think of a coalition such as i hear you describing i think of uh, a gathering of adults can you talk about the role of reaching kids uh, in uh, pursuing the acceptance of diversity or the, uh, the recognition of diversity, appreciation of diversity? Sure. Well, I mean, what I would start out by saying, you know, is that the schools um, are doing a pretty decent job, um, even as we speak, you know, in terms of recognizing, you know, all kinds of diverse perspectives, you know, not only in their curriculum, but also in their extra curricular activities, um, you know, that they have organized over the years. Um, but I think that there's always room for improvement. Um, I think that, um, you know, to kind of dovetail onto the previous question, you know, that you and Tammy were talking about, um, you know, if there are opportunities that we can help, you know, spearhead or that we can um, lend some um, ideas to and, you know, brainstorm with the schools on, um, you know, in terms of making sure that, you know, right now they may have, um, you know, an Asia day or a China day or um, a day where they talk about Diwali. You know, there are many other different um, types of Asian traditions and um, experiences, um, both internationally and within the town that um, children could benefit from um, knowing more about. Um, so I guess I'll say that, you know, from a high level, but I'll, you know, have Ju Julie and Tammy, I'm sure you guys also have um, ideas on how to make sure that the kids um, can participate in this discussion as well. Before we go there, I, I would like to pose the question of what will the Pan-Asian Coalition add to the community beyond the Human Rights Commission and Belmont Against Racism? I think that the what we can particularly do is really highlight the, di the diversity of Asians in particular. Uh, I think that, you know, especially in light of uh, recent uh, events uh, with anti-Asian violence, I think that one thing that we can do is to um, sort of reach out to the community and, you know, sort of uh, highlight who we are, 
um, what a broad, you know, diverse community that we have and sort of uh, humanize us to people who might otherwise think of us as sort of a block of people who might generalize about Asians, you know, as a, as a, um, as a, as a general monolith, as you were saying. Um, so I think that's, that's something that um, I think that we can bring to the table that the people who are on the Human Rights Commission may not really um, prioritize. That's great. I would, I would also add to that, um, you know, as we have been hearing nationwide, you know, a lot of these conversations, you know, especially in light of a lot of anti-minority um, behaviors that we're seeing, representation matters, you know, and to Julie's point, um, you know, we do have a lot of um, decision-making bodies within Belmont that truly don't have um, proportional representation. And whether it is town meeting, whether, you know, it is particular subcommittees or task forces, um, having a group like this kind of, um, you know, fight may be the wrong word, but clamor, you know, to be, to have a seat at the table, um, I think will make a difference. Thank you for joining us, uh, all three of you. We have been speaking with Julie Wu, Priya Licht, and Tammy Shonkson, who are all members of uh, Belmont's new Pan-Asian Coalition. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.